Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy, Will. Um, yeah. All right. Let's get this party started. I'm going to be playing, uh, Max Payne, one of the best games uh, you could play. One of them. Um, let's go ahead and start playing as we're speaking. Um, yeah, let's go. Shift the tab. How the hell they gave you four health? Got him, folks. to use that firing cabinet. Push, pain, push. Wow. Ooh. So much for a lazy Sunday afternoon. My next trip would be a high wire act, a firing pit for a safety net. It was nice that no one was shooting at me for a change, but I'd take shot in the head over a slow roast on a spit any day in a goddamn week. I might get some answers. Hey. Hey. Why? Why? Why Rodrigo Bronco? Why? What? Why did you? Why did you come to kill Rodrigo Bronco? <laughs> to kill you. That's what you did to us. Why did you kill me? You so many of us. What reason, what reason did this poor bastard, bastard have to lie? He would be dead, would be from, dead from shock or loss of blood in half an hour, half an hour like the, even if I didn't leave him there to burn. Uh, where is Fabiana? Uh, Fabiana Bronco, where is she? I got hurt. Up the hill. It was up the hill for me, I guess. Gang held its way. I had to try to figure out who was using these angry paramilitary clowns in some kind of front to kill Rodrigo. Rodrigo Bronco was dead. Fabiano was, Fabiano was held hostage. I had no idea who no was behind any of this. 
Felt like a fool. I was a sweaty, gray-haired mess. This place. This place. Well, this place was. This place was gonna kill me too. I could see. I could see that now. I decided. I decided that I was gonna die sober, not drunk. Not drunk. At least then, I was no shot. In the shot. It was time to take time back the control, control from wherever was out to get me. If I didn't flush, them, didn't flush out, them out, at least my midlife, at least my midlife, midlife crisis was going to fuse them enough so they did something it's stupid. The only, it was the only hope I had. I knew I wasn't, I knew I wasn't thinking straight. I had been drinking popping pain killers for years. I had a liver like a French goose and skin like red leather. I don't know if you guys have ever played Max Payne 1 or 2 or 3. Well, this is the third one. This one was on PC. Well, well, it wasn't perfect. It wasn't perfect. In fact, it wasn't that good at all. It was gonna have to do. At least it was facing the right direction. direction. We did not know this. We are lost, Max. Our brother was everything to us. I understand. Listen, I'm, I'm sorry about your loss. Both of you. Rodrigo was a good man. I failed him. I, but I was tricked. What happened, Max? I don't know. Some guys from the crush of Prado came into the building downstairs, so while me and the security guard were dealing with them, an assassin must have come in and executed your brother. I, at least that's how I think it happened. You killed him, Boa! You killed my brother! What are you talking about? I, I understand you're upset, but please, why the hell would I do that? To get his money! To take his money! How am I getting his money, Marcelo? Please, think. I want my ass off for your family. I saved your life twice, or more. Right now, I'm going to get Fabiano. Where is, where is Fabiano, eh? She's in a place called Nova Esperanza. Do you know this place? Please, bring our sister-in-law back to us, Max. Our family is being torn apart. Yo. Oops. Yo, this game is awesome, man. I don't care what nobody said. This is Max Payne 3. Max Payne 3. So I guess, so I, guess I was finally about to go and experience the other side of Sao Paulo firsthand. The bit people, the bit people try to ignore. The unpleasant memory they try to obliterate with cocktails and helicopters and parties and lines of blow like rich fools the world over. I was a day off the sauce for the first time in years and knew I was due a hangover sent direct from Mother Nature. I had no idea where the hell I was going to go, so I decided to head straight for the street party that seemed to be raging. Either that or some other fool had gotten there before me and now was being ritually sacrificed. I've had better ideas. But then I've also had worse ones, like accepting this job in the first place. Good loss, kid. Speak English? I don't know if you've ever seen this girl. Come here for a second. Look at her. I know lots of girls. Sexy. Come on, come on. This way. Where are you going? Wait a minute. Down there? Yeah, Jesus. Oh, 
Hey, this game is awesome, guys. I used to play this game back in the days when it was on PlayStation 2. Um, I mean, it's not open world, but the way I see it, there's two types of graphics on here. For those who spend their lives trying to fill the future, and those who spend their lives trying to rebuild the past. For too long, I've been stuck in between. In the dark, what was I really doing walking in there with my bad haircut, ridiculous shirt? Was I there to make some Anybody's right? watching this, please subscribe my channel, please. Situation to indulge it would definitely help me a lot. So, desperate delusion, control, maybe the two went hand in hand more than I cared to admit. Eu vim de você, o This was the kind of reality America paid top dollar to see. Slums, the slums have become tourist attractions, places where yuppies could gawk at the endless spirit of the poor from the inside of their bulletproof buses. I felt dumb, exposed. I missed the booze. Not that it mattered, sober or drunk, I was hardly a good cover. I stood out in this place like a street walker in a rock Desculpa, amigo, por favor. These kids were raised hating clowns like me. Middle income ass kickers who protected the rich by shooting kids like them. You kill these motherfuckers. First day off the sauce, and somehow I'd still ended up in the gutter. Before I got my new PC, I remember I was playing this game a long time ago. But there was one thing I'd learned since I'd been here. It was that Brazilians came out of the womb kicking a ball. And for kids like these, was there one legal chance at a ticket out of here? Uh, I'm a little lost. Perdido? On the uh, uh, stoop. I'm a little very hard, Rapa. No uh, I need a phone, a telephone. Order. Publico. No, they weren't going to help me. But who could blame them? I was a dumb American in a place where dumb Americans were less popular than the clap. If I was going to find my way out of this mess, I was on my own. Yeah. <clears throat> it looked like there was a bar up ahead. The irony was not lost on me. I figured sobriety was no use to me dead. Hey, are you lost? 
ways more ways than I could possibly explain. Oh, you at the disco with the gun. Yeah, you had hair back then and better clothes. Yeah, Andrew Dudley from Steel, North Dakota. Why on earth are you here? Well, I'm uh, looking for someone. Looking for someone. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? We, we came to help the gods. See, after I retired, my wife, she said I had to do something. Well, you know, I always loved kids, so I got involved in Angels of the Hill. Oh, it's a great cause, and they're really great folk, and, well, now we come down twice a year to help inoculate the children of the favelas. You know, <clears throat> giving back. Whole family does it. In fact, my, my little girl's coming in a couple of days. Aren't you afraid? Ah, I was a cop for 25 years. I granted, steel ain't San Paulo, but, you know, I've seen things. And people are the same everywhere, good, bad, and different. Listen, have you heard anything about a, a woman, about 28, rich, she was kidnapped. I heard she was being held around here. No. All right, well, good luck. All right, you too. You look like you need it. I got to get back at it. Hey, right, I'll say a prayer for you. Another life, Another life lesson I didn't want. Party's about to begin, guys. The action of Max Payne, bro. Here we go. Class in the establishment would have a phone so I could call Passos. Either that or a gun so I could shoot myself and save these kids to bother. When you're stuck in a foreign country and you don't know the words for reverse charges, and you're in some lonely spin joint in the middle of some poor slum, having just had every last cent robbed from you, and you call yourself a bodyguard, then you know you're a loser. Do I know you? I don't think so. Look, you're going to shoot me. Make it quick, I'm a little busy. I was going to shoot you. I wouldn't waste a beer. I'm the story mode, but it's about to get real. Interesting haircut, by the way. What to tell you? Yeah, well, real song, that's still very good to meet you. Nice to meet you, I think. Although you'll forgive me if I promise never to employ you as my bodyguard. You did a great job watching after Harvey LeBron. Fuck you. You were set up. Bet your ass I was. No. Let me ask you something. Have you ever seen this guy? Sihana. Yeah, he's a real sweetheart. Yeah, you should have put his gang out of business. But don't worry, those guys, they're a small fry. This is the guy I'm interested in. Nevis. And this is his little buddy here. Neil Hager. They work for this vigilante group. Crash a crater. Yeah, I know him. They're very popular with right-wing politicians. Like Victor Brown. Now you see, many years ago, he helped clear some villages on a bit of land. Parvigo Bronco wanted to develop. Parvigo Bronco? Yes, he did some very bad things. Anyway, have you ever seen this guy? Maybe at the stadium. I knew you were involved in that business. You know, I wanted to investigate that, but I got an order to blame it on some local street kids instead. Tell me, what happened there? Nothing. Nothing. We simply went to hand over some cash to this guy's clowns for a, a ransom exchange. When this guy's clowns jumped us and they shot everybody. Apart from you and your boy Passos. That's right. But we had to shoot our way out of there. <laughs> they let you go. 
It's okay, it's a little weird right now. But I know that Zeke Bronco is involved in all this. I just don't know how or why. And I know that you can say are involved in all this as well, but I just don't know how or why. And you know what's going to happen? The moment is going to come along when I put all these pieces together. And at that moment, someone is going to come along and put a bullet in my head. Anyway, listen. You might want this. I'll do this. And if it's Fabiana Brock that you've come looking for, I think she's up the hill. So why don't you just go get her? I don't know. If I'm a cop. I mean, I'll fight corruption. I'll stand up to the rich and dumb. But if I go up that hill right now, I'll be dead in three minutes or less. Maybe you too, Max. You're in the jungle now. So it appears. If you survive the next hour, let's speak. You help me. And I'm going to do what I can to help you. Good luck. I didn't know what to make of what this guy had just told me. What was true and what was just someone else's convenient bullshit. Then some less than friendly locals came in and found me in the wrong mood to party. Here we go. Yeah, I agree. No comprende. Leave me alone. They can't see you. They can't see you. Tell you what, I got streaming from the TV. I got a gun. If anybody thinks they're gonna take it from me, they'd be dead wrong. Uh, I played it, but. No, oh, it's Max Payne. You just cut his hair. Yeah. Only two people. I need a better gun. Oh, I'm gonna do all that. I'm done that fucking reloading my gun. I'm about to die. I was running the risk of becoming too clear-headed. Well, as long as I want. Four hours, ten hours, eleven hours. No shooting! No shooting. Relax, soldier. Is that American? Oh, jeez, buddy. The fuck's going on here? Well, I'm glad to see you. Oh, fuck. I've been coming to this shithole town for the last five years. It's like a fucking insane asylum. But he's got the cheapest pussy in the world. Fuck me, me! You're in a cat house in the slum, pal, doing who knows what. I'm a businessman, bro. And, That's why you have to be 18 to watch it. In this country, I, I think, think and, and I know how to tip, all right? It ain't my fault, man. It ain't my fault. Don't, don't judge me, all right? Have a nice day. Look at the graphics on here. Jesus, what a, what a fucking creep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Max Payne, Max Payne, bro.
Let's see if I can find some more painkillers before I go out the door. Uh, took the last one. Uh, we have a stripper. No more painkillers. Oh well. It was Monday afternoon, and I'd already been thrown out of a party, gone to a strip club, and got to a bar fight. This latest midlife crisis was certainly ticking all the boxes. It's about to get real right now. I don't have any painkillers. There's no way. I think I'm gonna die soon. The fireworks display was clearly in my honor, making sure everyone knew it to roll out the red carpet for their surprise guest. It's getting real bad. Let's find some clues and some painkillers we've been talking about. I was walking into another not so welcome party. These hoods didn't look like Commando Sombra. Not that I was going to get picky. This was clearly their turf, and I just shot up their favorite skin joint. <laughs> Remember, no painkillers. I can't kill myself. So I gotta be real careful. Let's see what's over here. Let's see what's Brother, I with some painkillers. Oh shit! He's shooting at me. I don't see him. Oh. Yeah, he's gonna play some top of ropes. Die, bro. I need some more ammo. going on here? My controller is pressing stuff. Bro. I need ammo, bro. Thank <laughs> you. 
People will think this game is Hitman. This ain't no Hitman. This is Max Payne. He looks like Hitman. Ooh, painkillers! Yay! Oh, more weapons. I need it. Damn, double whammies. Right in his heart. I was getting nowhere, I was getting nowhere fast. The cold, the cold turkey was messing with me, like I was looking through another man's eyes. I need to focus. I need to focus. All right, guys, this is your boy Willie Jack. Um, this is. All of this is it right now. This is just a taste of Max Payne. Um, that'll do it right here, guys. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Please, please do. And thank you.